This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, and verse 26. Men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. All right. All right. Shalom. I'm going to give all praises to you. How about Hashem Yahushai? Bahashem Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. All right. And Shabbat Shalom. All right. Uh, you know, this title is going to be, this video is going to be called Redemption, man. All right. You know, our redemption is nigh, man. All right. You know, let me read verse uh, 28 again. Luke chapter 21, verse 28 says, And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. All right. You know, actually, let me jump up to verse uh, 25. Luke chapter 21, verse 25 and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars upon the earth distress and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity with perplexity and the sea and the waves roaring all right all right all these signs coming to pass man all right you got uproars of the nations all right you got the blood moon okay you got the signs in the sun the moon, all right, and then the stars, man. All right, we are seeing a lot of uh, so-called UFO sightings, man. All right, which are the chariots of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, all right. You know, hey, our redemp our redemption draweth nigh, man. All right, you know, we uh, in the time of Jacob's trouble. Hey, that's our time. Hey, look up, man. You know, you know the Lord. He's showing his uh, his signs, man. All right, and he's gonna soon deliver his men out of this hellhole, man. All right, you know we are literally in a hellhole, man. All right, that's why we need Yahweh Shai, man. All right, that sacrifice of of Yahweh Shai, you know that was greatly needed, man. All right. That pure sacrifice, man. Okay? And that's going to lead me to my... Uh, to my next scripture here. Salakia. Hebrews chapter 9. It's really this whole chapter is good, but just for the sake of time, let me start at verse 11. It says, But Hamashiach being... Come in high priest of good things to come by a greater and more perfect tabernacle not made with hands that is to say not of this building neither by the blood of goats and calves but by his own blood he entered in he entered in once into the holy place having obtained eternal redemption for us for if the blood of bulls and of goats and the ashes of an heifer sprinkling the, the unclean sanctified to the purifying of the flesh, how much more shall the blood of Amashiach Yahushai, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to Yahweh, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God? All right. And for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament, that by means of death, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the first testament, that which were called, they which are called Salakia, might receive the promise of eternal inheritance, man. All right? Hey, the water Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh man. All right? Hey, that perfect sacrifice, man, without spot, man, without sin. All right, you know, hey, if bulls and goats was enough, man, to purify the flesh, man. All right, 
How much more your how was shy, man? You know? Hey, so the water you how about shimmy how was shy, man? All right, he's he's giving us redemption, man, through his blood, man. You know, him 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 going through that uh that gruesome death that that's that's giving us that has given us redemption, man. You know. And uh, let me get Acts real quick. Acts chapter 5, verse... Let me just get... I'll just read uh, 30. No, let me start at 29. Acts chapter 5, verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey Yahweh rather than men. The God of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom he slew and hanged on a tree. Him... Have the Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Yasharallah, Yasha Allah, Israel, and forgiveness of sins. All right, hey, you see that? Hey, Yahweh Shai, all right, he died on, a, on that on that uh on that cross to give repentance to Israel, man. All right, starting with the elect, you know. To allow us to allow us to be beamed up on these chariots, man. Lord willing, we endure to the end, man. All right, Lord willing, we uh we wait upon the Lord, man. All right, Lord willing, we stay spiritual in this thing, man. All right, cause carnal niggas they gonna get sifted out, man. All right, you know you being carnal in these last days, and the Lord he's and he's gonna do away with you, man. All right. You know, uh, let me just read Hebrews chapter 9, verse 14 one more time, because that was uh, your pa. All right, that was beautiful. It says, how much more shall the blood of a Mashiach, who through the eternal spirit offer himself without spot to Yahweh, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living power, man? All right. Hey, do away with, uh, with, uh, with these carnal acts, man. All right, the dead works, man. All right, committing adultery, you know, defiling the temple, smoking weed, you know, all that shit is temporary, man. All right, you smoking a blunt, man, that's temporary uh, satisfaction, you know. You know, this Jake at the job, you know, he was pissed off today, man. I was asking him, you know, uh, earlier, earlier in, in um, earlier in the shift, man, you all right? You good? And he was like, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. But I can see all in his countenance, man. All right, he was vexed to the spirit, man. All right, then towards the end of the shift, you know, he was like, man, I ain't have no weed today, man. That's why I was so pissed today. You know, I'm just in my head. I'm like, man, man you see that, man? You know, weed is a, is a, is a um, that's, that's niggas' gods out here, man. You know, niggas don't got weed. They fucking pressed out here, man. All right, you know, I used to be the same way, so I know, man. You know that that shit is uh is uh is lame, man, bogus. All right, all right. In verse fifteen, it says, "And for this shall he, and for this cause he is the mediator of the New Testament, that by means of death, for the redemption of transgressions, that he were under the first testament." That which are called might receive the promise. They would. They which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance, man. All right. Hey, Yahweh Shah, he died for, uh, our for our transgressions, man. All right. You know he died. He died for uh, for us smoking. Uh, he died so we can be forgiven for us smoking weed, man. All right. For us putting weed as our idol god, man. All right. For us putting. Uh, these false gods as our idol gods, man. All right, Yahweh Shai, he died for all that, man. He already knew, you know, what we was going to be going through, man. You know, he's that perfect spot, man. You know, that's the way to redemption, man. All right, through Yahweh Shai, man. All right, uh, and let me just jump down to 28. It says, So Hamashiach was once offered to bear the sins of many. And unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. All right. Hey, those that look for Yahweh Shai, 
All right, those are going to get, get salvation, man. The Lord, he's making his second coming for, for his elect, man. All right, it says, uh, it says that, uh, so a Mashiach was once offered to bear the sins of many, man. All right, the 144,000 and the, uh, uh, the one third, man. All right, the, the, uh, that unnumerable number, man. All right, that it says in Revelation 7 and 9. Let me get that real quick. All right, men, women, and children. All right, Revelation chapter 7, verse 9. After this, I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with the white robes and palms in their hands, man. All right, a clothed with white robes, man. That righteousness, man. All right, you know that's why we gotta go hard for this truth, man. For we, so we can be redeemed. All right, you know, and we gotta put our blood, sweat, and tears to this thing, man. All right, this is not a game, man. All right, Revelation chapter fourteen, verse three, and they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song, but the 144,000 which were redeemed from the earth. All right? Hey, no man is going to learn this song, man, except the elect, man. All right? And the one-third, man. All right? But this is mainly for the 144,000, man. All right? You know, singing this song before the before the holy angels, man. All right. And verse four says, these are they which are not defiled with women. All right. We're not defiled with these false doctrines, man. All right. Christianity, Muslim, uh, Baptist, uh, seven day Avengers, baptism, uh, fucking uh, two percenters, all that bullshit that they got today, man. We're not defiled with these false doctrines, man. All right, we not defiled with women. All right, it says, for they are virgins, man. We are pure in the eyes of Yahweh, man. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, hey, Yahweh Shai, he's going to find us. He's going to find us worthy, man. All right? You know? You know, Lord willing, we endure, man. It says, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. All right, and we we following Yahweh Shai wherever, man. All right, we following the Spirit. All right, we're able to understand these scriptures. All right, we got the Holy Spirit. All right, so we got Yahweh Shai, man. All right, hey, he's that Comforter, man. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, these are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever He goeth. These were redeemed. From among men, being the first fruits unto Yahweh and to the Lamb. All right, hey, we, we, hey, the elect man, the hundred forty-four thousand, we're gonna be first fruits, man. All right, to Yahweh, uh, Yahweh, why Yahweh shot, man? All right, all right, redeemed among men. All right, the hundred forty-four thousand are all men. All right, and we, and we, uh. uh the uh, the Lord He said He's gonna gather His elect from the four winds of the earth. You know. Let me just uh, let me get that. Uh, Revelation, I mean Matthew chapter twenty four verse. Matthew chapter twenty four verse thirty one, and He shall send His angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other, man. All right? He's going to gather his elect, man. All right? You know, it says that also in Amos, Amos 8th chapter. All right? But let me get uh, Matthew chapter 26 and verse 29. It says, let me start at 28. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the re, for the remission of sins, all right. Hey, that blood of Yahweh Shah, all right. It says, "But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine, 
until that day which I drink it new with you in my father's kingdom. All right, hey, you see that? Hey, how was shy? He's waiting for us, man. All right, he's waiting for us to sip that wine, man. All right, that, that beautiful wine is waiting for the elect, man. All right? You know, all we got to do is endure, man. You know, all we got to all we got to do is 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 uh endure until the end, man. All right? We almost at the end, we got to endure persecution. All right? We can't uh wither away from person just cuz persecution is coming. All right? It's not the time to be soft. You know, it's not the time to be uh to lose patience. All right? It says in uh Sirach the second chapter uh, says, Woe to you that have, Sirach chapter 2, verse 14, Woe unto you that have lost patience. And what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? All right? Hey, we can't lose patience, man. All right? You know, what's the point of running the race all the way until the end, and then right at the end, you just say, Nah, I'm going to quit. Fuck it. You know, what's the point of you running that race, man? All right. You know, this is a this is a race, man. All right. This is a journey, man. All right. We trying to attain that prize, man. All right. Those uncorruptible crowns. All right.